So Koji, thank you for coming on. Can I um, ask you please, first of all, to perhaps introduce yourself and include in that introduction for our listeners and for the people who are watching this video podcast, a little bit of background on yourself and also what your responsibilities are at Nippon Steel. Okay. So I am Koji Hirano, Senior Researcher at Intelligent Algorithm Research Center in Nippon Steel Corporation. Nippon Steel Corporation is one of the largest steel producers in the world. Our Intelligent Algorithm Research Center performs R&D to apply AI or other advanced information technologies to improve um, steel manufacturing processes. Um, for my background, um, I majored in mechanical engineering and physics at the university. After I joined Nippon Steel, um, actually I had been working in, a, in other fields, R&D of laser processing of steels uh, for more than 10 years. I joined uh, Intelligent Algorithm Research Center when it was inaugurated um, two and a half years ago. I am now responsible for computer and visual researches, including deep learning technology. Um, I am also in charge of developing collaborations with external companies, uh, which have uh, excellent technologies in the field AI and IT. CQC is, of course, one of such companies. Thank you. Thank you for that. That's a deep background. But quantum computing is something which is very easy to get carried away. However, you and Nippon Steel have some experience here. You, you, you have experience of the quantum annealing approach. You're beginning to have some experience of the gate-based approach. But at all times, you seem to always be very grounded. And this, I think, is very important for large industrial companies who are exploring new technology. Of course, at uh, Nippon Steel, you have a number of um, academic collaborations, some of which are sensitive, and you may not be able to comment on them, which we appreciate. But we at CQC have just started our academic collaboration in Tokyo with the University of Keio and also with the University of Tokyo. And so I hope that our work in quantum computing in Japan will cross over with the work of Nippon Steel more actively going forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'd like to turn our attention, uh, Dr. Hirano, now to um, Nippon Steel again, if I may. And I really wanted to ask you why optimization not necessarily using quantum computers, but optimization in its generic sense. Why is this so important to Nippon Steel? Yes, um, in our steel manufacturing processes, there are a number of challenging combinatorial optimization problem. Um, our company produces various kinds of steel products from raw materials, that is iron ore and coal. We conduct uh, basically mass production, but uh, meanwhile, um, the number of different products in our company amounts to the order of 10,000. Um, in order to take optimal balance among quality, cost, and delivery aspects, we have to resolve complicated combinatorial optimization problems. For example, how to group together different customers' orders into the same batch, or how to arrange order of same products for every group, and so on. Yes, this is, this is why um, the optimization problem in, is important to our company. Yes, and the scale of the operations are not a surprise. Uh, Nippon Steel, as we have mentioned before, is a world-class company. But the attention to detail in each of these different aspects that make up the combinatorial uh, optimization problem might be surprising to some people. Has it been a challenge trying to understand how quantum computers could contribute 
what I mean by this is that in the area of classical computing, of course, the world has many experts. Nippon Steel has many experts, your team have experts, and of course, your academic partners have experts. Whereas in quantum, this is not really the case. So do you have some internal quantum computing expertise at this stage? Um, yes and no. Um, we have some researchers uh, who are looking at uh, quantum computing, of course, but the team is not so big. Um, now we are in the very early stage, early phase of analyzing possibility of quantum computers. If the outcome is yes, we may expand our team, of course. And I think that collaboration with companies outside is also important because uh, it will be hard to acquire all the technologies um, related to quantum computing. Yes, yes. Now that, that's a common challenge for large corporations and organizations. One thing, um, Hirano-san, that we have seen at Cambridge Quantum is that the capacity, the operational capacity of devices, of processors, is starting to accelerate. And I think that the early research and the investment which Nippon Steel has done, and one or two other companies as well, is very positive because now in the next period, it could be months, it could be a year or so, when the capacity of quantum volume increases in quantum computers, and instead of being only research, they may also start to have an impact on your operations, then you will be ready to adopt more quickly. So this we have seen is, 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 is something which during this year and next year will become more apparent. I remember when I met you last year, um, we had lunch together. Yes. And I mentioned that by the end of 2021, we expected quantum volume to be meaningful and relevant for real world application. I wanted to um, ask you a, a closing question um, for today's um, conversation. Yes. Within the infrastructure that quantum computing um, is being deployed in finance, in logistics, in the chemicals industry, there seems to be awareness between the senior management and the technical teams. That gap is closing. Within the industrial organization that you are working in, do you think that your senior management, the executive management, are somewhat familiar now and aware of quantum, or do you think it's still hidden in, in, in the research departments? Um, in our comp uh, uh, of course, that uh, situation uh, depends on the company, company's culture, or the company location, of course. The Japanese company tends to blah, 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 right? right? Um, mm -hmm. But in our company, um, yes, some senior executives know the name of quantum computer at least, although they are not familiar with um, deep, uh, deep uh, technique or scientific points of quantum computers. But actual stage is um, very early, so. Our division, for example, who researches on quantum computing, have to have to obtain positive results um, in order to persuade the, our executives to in, 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 invest more on this field. For example, well, you, in this case, your company is exactly the same as every other company, <laughs> um, but at least they're beginning to become aware of the, the name. This is, this is important, I think, for, for, for us.